Hey, what's up, Cozy Habitat fam? Welcome back to my channel. So, excuse how I'm looking. I'm actually on my way to the gym right now, and I just wanted... Is that a cricket? Sounds like a cricket is in the garage as we speak. <laughs> so creepy. Anyway, sorry. So, I'm on my way to the gym right now. I wanted to film this intro because... I am reviewing a lawnmower and this video is a little different than my other videos because it's always like home decor related and this is kind of home decor related because keeping your lawn up is part of you know the aesthetics so I'm reviewing a battery operated lawnmower by the company called Lifely and I'm really excited because um, it's battery operated my old lawnmower is actually going out my dad had actually gave it to me when i bought this house and it was his lawnmower but now it's like you know going out i don't like it because it's super heavy duty also it goes by i think oil and you have to put gas in it as well and this new lawnmower is completely battery operated so i'm excited about that and I'm gonna give you guys my honest review. So I actually won't be cutting the grass myself. Vic is gonna cut it. The one thing I am excited about is that I no longer have to use this. So this is actually some leftover gas. I no longer have to use gas for my lawnmower. This lawnmower is strictly battery operated. So we're gonna see how it goes and I'll give you guys my review. All right, so we got the batteries charged and everything. So one thing we do, the first thing we could do is uh, just pop this open like so. And then we just uh, slide the batteries in. And uh, you do need both batteries in at the same time. Now this here is a safety switch. So if that switch isn't in and you just close like that. That's mostly just for storage if you want to keep it like that. But uh, in order for it to start, this little clip has to be engaged. So you just pretty much push that down so you hear that click. Make sure all this is nice and secure. And you'll hear clicks every time this goes down. And we got another click. And then for here, you know, you adjust your height. Uh, I usually cut mine about four to five, six is if it's really tall, if you want to do it like that. If you want to get it really close, you just lower it all the way down to the ground. It's a very light, uh, light lawnmower. And this is just a handle just for kind of picking it up and storing it if you need to. And what I like about this is that it um, is very easy to start. Before we get to that, though, I'll show you the bag system. And so this is the bag pretty much here. It is more compact uh, compared to a lot of other models, but it's easy to store. And uh, it's, it's, it's great. I think it'll uh, work out. It also has like a little indicator here. When this is blowing up and this latch is open, that means you can keep cutting. Once it gets full, this will close and that'll let you know that your bag is full. So that's a nice little feature on that. Also in here, this little handle that came with it, this is to just pretty much block off this. So if you're gonna mulch your grass and mulching is pretty much you just, whatever you cut, you're gonna spit it back down. It's really healthy for grass. I do it for my backyard all the time and it creates a nice healthy grass and it grows really fast. So, you know, it has this little feature so that way you don't just close it and then it just blocks up here. A lot of older models that I've had before does have, doesn't have this feature. So it just kind of clunks up here and you gotta peel it out. But this keeps it down and then that'll make a more even mulch. So we'll take this out for now because we're gonna be cutting it. We're gonna take our bag and it's just gonna slide right over here at the top and you'll feel it like that. It's still gonna lift up a little bit but gravity will keep that down and you just close it like that and then we're pretty much ready to go. So with this, what I love about this is uh, you don't have to pull the string anymore like you would with uh, you know a lot of other lawnmowers, but this one, all you have to do is just push this little safety thing in and then you're gonna squeeze down on this and it's gonna start. So I'll do it all in one motion so you'll see it. To store this, uh, like I said, it's very compact, so it's not going to take up much room in your garage. But to store this, pretty much, we just pop these, and then that uh, lets that forward. We pop this, and 
then pretty much you just kind of wiggle these forward like that and then you take this off if you want so you don't lose that just put that in there and then this you can actually I usually just put it right on top and then you can easily just push this somewhere and it's doesn't take up a lot of room which is great you know so you got room in your garage for other tools and stuff so here is our yard compared to our neighbor's yard it is completely horrible you guys see how tall the grass is compared to their cut grass so we're gonna go ahead and get the grass cut and see how it works so this grass is like really really tall so you guys can truly see like the difference before and after this flap is closed so as you can see uh, this is now full because this isn't blowing out anymore so the bag is full so we'll go ahead and empty it and we'll restart uh, we'll just resume cutting it's very uh, very light and it's uh, very quiet which I like we're actually doing this pretty early so we're not waking up the neighbors but it is very quiet which is a plus now this is like a heavy-duty test because we're doing it on super tall grass it's been overgrown so then uh, once we finish this, we'll move over to a smaller section and we'll see how it performs on your regular cutting day. But this is the heavy duty test right here. <laughs> So as you see over here where the grass is much uh, less grown than uh, the other ones, very easy, it's very fast, uh, very easy to maneuver. It's very lightweight, which I like, and it does get the job done, especially around like the mailbox and the tree. It's easy just to kind of throw it around and move it to where you need to. It's not as heavy as uh, other lawnmowers out there. So we're gonna continue cutting the rest of the grass and we'll see how it uh, holds up at the end. So uh, we almost, we're pretty much almost done. I just have to empty the bag again. Uh, very lightweight to carry. I feel like when the grass uh, clip is in here and it's full, maybe 20 something pounds, uh, the grass is a little damp towards the bottom. So that's, uh, so that's, we got a little bit of difficulty there as you would or with any other lawnmower. But uh, one thing I do love is uh, no gas. This lawnmower is very quiet. Sounds like a loud vacuum cleaner indoors, if you will. But it's very quiet, I uh, don't have to deal with gas, I don't have to put oil in it compared to the other one. Uh, the other one, gas was spilling out because uh, it would get a little rough and um, sometimes the gas would kind of spill out through that top cap if it's not secured. Don't have to worry about none of those issues with this. Uh, it's pretty much just push the button and go. It's very easy, very lightweight. It's taking me about the same amount of time despite it being smaller, but uh, moving around those tight turns and navigating it is very, make this very easy to do very uh, light way you can get in and out you can make those turns around and stuff so uh, it'll save me less work when I need to get the edger out to edge everything but overall yep that's uh, my thoughts so far on it alrighty so that's our review the only con is that the battery lasts about 40 minutes and if you have a large yard like us you might want to buy some backup batteries but overall pretty good so I really recommend this and thank you so much Lifely for sponsoring this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments thanks for watching